Hello and welcome to Green Building Bites presented by Green Building Alliance. I'm Leslie Montgomery from the Green Building Alliance team and today we're bringing you an exceptionally special Green Building Bites on site direct from Ireland where we're going to show you a project here that's being built by some of our friends in Enniscorthy County, Wexford. It's the most efficient office building in Ireland and we're going to show you a tour and some comments from some of the project team in just a moment. So Tomás O'Leary is my name. I, I'm a director with Moss Art. Uh, we're the architects for this project. Really proud to see it under construction now. And we're also the Passive House designers. So it's the largest uh, Passive House office building in Ireland and we're well under construction now. It's the first building of its type to be constructed here in Ireland. Michael Bennett is my name. I'm a building contractor here in the southeast of Ireland, here in Enniscorthy, County Wexford. So already we have five companies set up to go into this building. We'll have this building finished by next May. Uh, then we'll have the fit out in that. And at that stage, we expect to have this building here full. And on this site, we have 38 acres with a possibility of 12 more acres here. So in two, three, four years time, I expect to have about a thousand people working on this site. We have planning permission for this building. Just over here, we have planning permission for a similar building, another 50,000 square feet. That's done and dusted. We can start there tomorrow morning. So as soon as we have this filled, we're starting the next building. We built our first passive house about 10 miles away from here in 2007. And since that, we've never missed a year, but we've built at least one passive house. We built some social passive housing, which was the first time it was done in this county. And our local county council have bought those houses off us. We've done two lots of them. And uh, it's turned out quite good. And it has been used as a role model, not just in Ireland, but in parts of Europe and parts of states, where they've been shown uh, on videos and at conferences as well. So with passive house, we're, we need a, it's all about the envelope. It's a fabric first approach. We need really good exterior envelope and we're seeing an example of that behind me. So beside me here now, you're seeing um, the world's first certified air tightness board. On face value, it looks like just an OSB board, but it's uh, been tested to surpass the levels of air tightness we need for a passive house. Um, this panel um, is made in a factory and it's stuffed with cellulose insulation. So it's a very low carbon product as well. You can see the taped joints here. Um, ensure really good air tightness. There's a joint here that has yet to be taped, so when you get two panels coming together, obviously they're made in a factory, you know, they're, they're butt jointed here on site, and then we sort of tape those up afterwards. So we're very confident that we'll surpass the passive house level of air tightness here, which is 0 0.6 air change per hour. We have to be here, we have to be on top of it. We are to the, the, the point of annoying people about air tightness, about passive certification. You can buy triple glazed windows, you can buy ventilation systems, but you can't buy air tightness. Air tightness is a product of getting the right materials and the right joints and the right connections and so forth. So, so there's a big movement globally now about low carbon products. Um, we feel really we have the operational side of it nailed down. We can reduce the amount of heating and cooling we need by a good fabric. But next thing we need to look at the embodied energy in the fabric itself, and that's been a really hot topic globally. Um, so what we're really excited about this is it's very unusual in Ireland uh, to, to see a timber frame exterior envelope. Normally it's a steel frame system. So this is uh, completely wood, it's uh, OSB, and it's, uh, it's insulated with uh, recycled paper called cellulose insulation. So it's a shift away, if you like, from foam-based products and a shift away from steel as well. Um, so not only will this building be an exemplary uh, product in terms of energy efficiency, the operation side of things, but it'll be really good from embodied carbon as well. Uh, as I said earlier on, uh, I started to build my first passive house. I did build my first passive house back in 2007. There was no training. So we learned from Tomas O'Leary, Dr. Wolfgang Feist in Germany. We looked at our system. This is different. This is a commercial unit. Four stories, 50,000 square feet. 
lot of the subcontractors all over us are trained and know how to do it. The difference between building this building and building a house with 2,000 square feet is totally different altogether. And what's meaning is we have to spend a lot of time paying attention to detail. Now, subcontractors, not used to maybe that type of detail because we're looking for uh, air tightness. It is relatively new, and in commercial buildings, it's very new. So, trying to get people to understand what we have to do. We have to get our certification, not this building is, is of, of no use. So what does it do? It means probably the surest thing of doing is that we have to pay so much attention to detail. I'm a local. My home place is about two miles down south. I'm very proud of having this building in Enniscorthy. Uh, we're going to have quite a lot of companies. We're a small rural town. My name is Barbara Ann Murphy and currently I'm here local vice president county council. I also happen to be chair of the HPBA who signed and we signed a, an MOU uh, for the Centre of Excellence that's going to be based here in Enniscorthy last Wednesday at COP26. For this region here, it's uh, a project like this is it's iconic. It means that we're going to have jobs for a start and we're going to have good high quality jobs based here in this building. But the fact that this building is a passive building is going to have a huge impact on all of our country because it is the first passive office building in Ireland and that uh, it in itself has created an awful lot of interest and the businesses that are looking to come and actually base themselves here uh, are interested from that point of view. It's also very interesting because we are only one hour from Dublin Airport and people want to make their uh, headquarters here and it's a huge benefit to County of Exford, to Enniscorthy and to the entire region that those good high quality jobs will come here but it's also started a huge conversation about passive housing and nearly zero energy buildings here in this county and we have the NZ standard for our domestic homes for a number of years now but this has a bigger impact for commercial properties going to be